Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to the channel. So first and foremost, my sincere apologies since I uh, forgot to mention the perks for the Heavy Bolt Pistol and the Thunder Hammer in the previous video, which was uh, Death From Above build for the Assault class. Um, and, I'm, you know, like, since I'm stupid and I forgot to mention this, uh, and you shouldn't be listening to me, but please listen to me, because we'll be quickly going over the perks for the Heavy Bolt Pistol and the Thunder Hammer. Now, by the way, if you haven't watched the video, I will leave the link down in the description below, or it will be hovering on the screen right now somewhere. Um, so, yeah, let's quickly get into the perks. Damage increases by 10% against Terminus level enemies. Now, Terminus level enemies are any bosses which have an HP bar. So, Hive Tyrant, Carnifex, Neurothrope, um, Hellbrute, things like that, right? Now, these enemies are, like, pretty dangerous. Sometimes it's a risk to be uh, in melee range, and if you're comfortable with that, by all means do that. Um, but this is basically going to help you a lot. Even 10% goes a long way, right? So we're taking 10% damage against Terminus level enemies. Now, uh, you could go for max ammo or you could go for more damage through your perks because ammo economy, you need it's, it's something you need to consider. So I am also going for ammo economy, but in a different approach. Like you could just have more ammo, it will not do anything to have faster TTKs, like to kill enemies faster. But if you have more damage per bullet, that means you will also have faster TTKs because you can kill enemies faster because of higher damage, obviously. But um, more damage also translates into like less ammo spent because you have higher damage per bullet. So you'll be spending lesser bullets to kill the same target. Now, next perk is after killing a Majoris level or higher uh, higher enemy with a melee weapon, you deal 25% damage for five seconds. Now, as an assault, you'll be barely using your pistol. You'll be using it for either stopping sentries, which are out of reach and um, you don't have a jetpack charge or something, or you're going to be using it for, like I said, Zwanthropes, Neerthropes, Hellbrute, um, Hive Tyrant, and Carnifexes. Since we are, there are some perks we need, and which are in this row, so that's why we'll have to take it anyways. Uh, Adamantine Grip, recoil is reduced. Again, there is a little bit of recoil. For me personally, it doesn't matter, but it's on the way, we'll have to take it. Again, recoil. Now, these are the perks that I'm looking for. So, headshot deal, headshots deal 10% more damage. Very simple, very straightforward. Uh, if you have better aim, better accuracy, um, of course, you know, you'll, you'll be rewarded with additional damage. Uh, magazine size, magazine size, very simple. Um, basically, though it's a very fast reload on this, the, the pistols, but still. This is the perk which is very spicy and juicy. When your health is below 30%, killing 10 enemies in rapid succession restores health by 5%. Cooldown is 30 seconds. Now, I think and I hope and I assume that this is only supposed to be working with the heavy bolt pistol. However, I have a feeling and I was very disappointed when we got the Spartan Arena. It's only for PvP. I assumed or I imagined it would be something like what we have in Dark Tide, where you can have enemy spawns and you can test damage for every weapon and perk um, by damaging enemies. But anyways, so yeah, I think this perk is also working with your Thunder Hammer, like when you look and uh, you do a ground pound, you get crazy HP, right? Um, lastly, Divine Might, damage increases by 10%. Yeah, again, very straightforward. Now, let me show you the version I'm using. It's uh, Gephalamor Crusade. Now, look at the, the stats here. If you compare it to the other ones, this one just gives you one damage with worse accuracy. So, I don't think that's worth it. Now, this one gives you more magazine size and more ammo reserves and everything with, again, worse accuracy. But if you're accurate enough, if you take your time with your shots, I think you won't be wasting a lot of ammo. And then again, you'll find ammo on the, on the you know, go and the ammo caches and everything. Now, finally for the hammer. So starting with the relic, basically variation. So I'm using the Aphelion Liberation, of course, because everyone knows fencing weapons are more forgiving. Uh, let's quickly go into the perks. So melee damage increased by 5%, very straightforward. I would have taken this, but the perks in this row, again, I need it to reach here. Um, aftershock preparation time is reduced. Very straightforward. 30% reduction in aftershock. That means you can 
um, spam it even more. Just make sure that you learn the enemy attack patterns first, or you're going to suffer like I was at the beginning. Is like, you know, whenever you charge your attack and you're doing a heavy attack, and then they do a dodgeable, like the enemy does a dodgeable, the red indicator attack, and uh, you get get your ass kicked. So yeah, mix light attacks that stagger them bait out a heavy attack and immediately once you dodge go for a heavy attack or just make your own combo and you can also see in the gameplay the type of attacks i was doing uh melee damage increases again ground slam area of effect uh, radius increases by 50 percent now this is amazing by the way please be aware what ground slam is and what um aftershock right so ground slam is basically the attack that you immediately do after a light attack combo like if you're doing a combo you do a light attack and then immediately press and hold to do a heavy attack now that basically is very good sometimes i would feel that the enemy is out of reach but even then because of this perk my um aoe would reach him and i have stopped sentries from crazy distances even okay so after performing a ground slam hold the attack button to perform an additional ground slam now this was working pre-patch after the patch it's kind of bugged and i don't know why it's not working anymore um but anyways since we were gonna go through this row so we'll have to take it again melee damage increase by five percent so until here i think it's 15 percent damage increase now since we were fighting terminates this is what i was using after killing 10 enemies in rapid succession with a light combo, you do not lose control upon taking heavy hits and you cannot be knocked back for 5 seconds. Cooldown is 10%. Cool, in theory, sometimes it might even be working and I didn't even notice, but I am not too fussed about it. This is the perk. Aftershock gains additional spin. It's going to be hard to telegraph enemy movements and go for a charge attack but you will have 30 percent reduced preparation time but once that connects and two hits with the aftershock just feels amazing it does a ton of damage even for a big crowd it just deletes a lot of enemies uh melee damage against minority level enemies increases now you guys usually complain that the zangoras and the the small the minority guys should die quick enough if you're using this you'll feel that they die quick enough uh, Pummel Smash, like if you watched my previous video and my solo run um, uh, on Decapitation on Ruthless, you would be observing, you would observe that I was usually doing, uh, what's it called? Uh, I was opening my combo by sprinting and doing a Pummel Smash into like Light and uh, Ground Slam and then Dodge, Gun Strike, blah blah blah, and then I would do a Aftershock if the enemy wasn't dead already so yeah pommel smash very nice because that's how you and sometimes when you're basically surrounded by warriors or um chaos marines you're dodging again and again and then immediately if you do pommel smash while dodging uh of course you know what that means you'll be doing a lot of damage so yeah these were the weapon perks thank you so much i didn't want to, to didn't want to make this video this long but it is what it is so I wanted to explain everything for whoever wants to hear it. Anyways, with that being said, I will see you guys on the next one.